summer has arrived in Stuttgart at last. Today it's 31 degrees, blue sky, not a cloud in sight. And that's a perfect day for driving the new 911 Speedster. Now the history of the Speedster name with Porsche is a very interesting one that goes back 65 years. In 1954, Porsche's American importer, Max Hoffman, asked Porsche to build, in effect, a Speedster, a 356A with a cut-down windscreen and a much slimmer profile. That was an outstanding success, and the Speedster became part of the Porsche range every now and then. Now, the last 911 Speedster came out in 2010. That's practically nine years ago. So why the gap? Well, Porsche would say there hasn't been a suitable car since, but even as they roll out the 992 Carrera with its turbocharged engine, the fact is that the outgoing 991 is the perfect car on which to base a Speedster. A Speedster has to be tactile. That means naturally aspirated engine, it means manual gearbox, which this car has. But the big surprise here, for the very first time, where Speedsters have always had the normal powertrain of a 911 or the 356 before, this 991 Speedster has a GT3 engine. But it's not just any GT3 engine. This latest version has 510 horsepower. That's actually 10 horsepower more than before. And the big surprise is that this extra 10 horsepower has been obtained despite the new tighter EU6 WLTP emissions that came in last year. The trick here, apparently, according to the GT car department who developed the engine, is the new intake system, which has single throttles instead of the normal plenum and single throttle. And also they've managed to make the exhaust system lighter and more efficient. But all in all, the car has a lot of racing technology in it. It has carbon fiber front, the rear deck is carbon fiber, and it translates into a car that feels a lot more responsive and much more incisive on the road.